Hey there, welcome to Wildflower Farm. We're a brand new you pick flower farm here in Springfield, Missouri. And we're just getting started. We ordered a bunch of seeds. And so I'm Katie and this is Jill and we're here to show our seed haul, including bulbs. So I'm gonna let, well, first I'll talk about the squash. Yeah. So we got an email from Baker Creek probably last week that said, you know, it's not too late to plant pumpkins. You could have your own pumpkin patch. And that wasn't something that I thought that was possible this late in the year, but I trust Jared Gettle. So uh, these are the varieties I bought. And I don't know exactly how many I'll plant. I'm, I read that you can get up to five pumpkins per plant. And there's 20 seeds in here, so I'm gonna have to do the math and figure out how many of each type I want as I plant them and then also take into account some might die. So the first one I have here is a kabocha squash and um, it has a mild flavor, uh, but it's super cute. Like it's dark blue on the outside or dark green on the outside. I've tried to grow these before at our old place didn't have much success. I think the squash bugs got them, but I'm hoping out here that since we, there's been no squash, maybe yeah. we don't have squash bugs. <laughs> the other one is um, a flat white boar squash. I've never grown this before, but I'm interested to see how it does and how it grows. Um, it'd be fun if these all came up and did really well. We'd have a great pumpkin patch. Long Island cheese is another kind of flat pumpkin. It looks kind of uh, off. It's not like a real bright, vibrant orange. Um, so I'm excited to see this one too. All of the description on these say they're delicious to eat. So that'll be interesting to see too. Here's a Lady Godiva squash. Interesting little pumpkin that's orange and green. Um, that one looks really fun. I wonder how big that is. Does it say on the back? It doesn't say how big they get, but it looks pretty small. I mean, maybe like, I don't know. Looks pretty big. You think it looks big? Well, because look at how small the stem is. Oh, maybe. It looks, I don't know, like a miniature pumpkin to me. Well, this one you can see, Squash Tokyo Blue. That's actually a smaller one. I don't know if it's actually a pumpkin just calls it a squash but it was it came up when I searched pumpkins you can pretend we're gonna pretend that's right plus it'll just be fall it's a pumpkin patch right like the fun is in exploring new things regular old little pumpkin they say it's delicious just like a pie pumpkin you can cook with it Connecticut yield it says this is a Jarendale squash that's really fun Jar, what is it? Jaradale. Oh, I said it wrong. Jaradale. It's like a turquoisey. Yeah. Maybe like a robin baked blue. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's really interesting. So those are the squash that we got and we'll be planting those out and figuring out how much space they need to grow. Now on to the flowers. Jill picked all these flowers out on the Baker Creek website. Are these all organized by type? Kind of. You just gotta show them the whole stack though. Well, I, I see what you're saying. How many oh, there are? No. How many were there? Do you remember? Uh, no, I don't remember. I think they sent us a bunch too that we didn't order because I didn't mean to order some. Doubles of some of them. Okay, you can start talking about. You're just gonna make me talk about Yeah, because you know more about them than I do. Yeah, but still. Yeah, especially the ones you know a bunch about that I've I don't totally, know a bunch I mean, about I could do the zinnias and the sunflowers, but you need to do the rest. So these are the sunflowers. Now, um, we have a bunch of sunflowers from the other house. We had what, white light. We had white night. White night. We had like jumbo, whatever, giant sun queen, lemon queen or whatever. Um, we had those teddy bear ones that were like, like multiple. Oh, the double sun king. Mm-hmm. So we have a bunch of those seeds already because we saved them from last year. 
So we didn't go real crazy on the sunflowers. I am excited about this one, chocolate cherry. Look how dark those sunflowers are. That's gonna be really fun. That'll make a statement. People will get excited about those. Was that the only sunflower you ordered? Yeah, they didn't huh? have very many options. Uh, okay, well that's fine. Like I said, we have a lot already. So here are our Cosmos. We also have a bunch of Cosmos already. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and order that Cosmo mix from Eden Brothers. Well, I was gonna make a Johnny Seed order. Oh, okay, okay. So this is called Rubenza. Look at that. That would look nice in the bouquet with the sunflowers and some other light pinks. That dark, dark red. This one's called Apricotta. Nice pink. And that one's a double, isn't it? Um, I don't. Double petal? It, yeah, look at that compared to that one. Uh, I don't think so. You don't think so? I think it's just, just a little more frilly. Hmm, pink lemonade. Flowers are three inches across. What? Three inches for a Cosmo? Those are huge. Yeah. Right? We'll see if I... Sturdy stems for cutting. Oh, good choice. I don't know what that is. This is Canterbury Bells. Um, it's a mix of pink, dark pink, light purple, dark purple, white. That's yellow, too. Um, oh. Yeah. Hmm. How tall do those get? Tall enough to cut. Plant in late summer for early fall or blooms the next year. Oh, that's oh, interesting. Nice. Prefers afternoon shade. Okay. Here's a mix of echinacea, which are super fun. This is one of my favorites. I'm a fan of like daisies and sunflowers. Those are just lovely. I'm very excited about these. I'm excited about the pink. There's my 15 seeds in there. <gasps> they better do better right by pink. us. <laughs> The look light at, pink. Look at this one, right? This is a green twister. Look at that color. The green and the pink. I can't even can't even imagine how pretty that's gonna be. You're gonna that'll be wonderful for Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Oh zinnias. So we already have some zinnia um, seeds from last year as well. I think we have uh, the Eldorado. We have whatever that purple one's called, yeah. the really popular one. We might even have some white ones. Um, no, because the white one we bought as a start. Oh, we didn't, we didn't save the seeds. Oh. And then we, I think, do you still have some of the lime that you couldn't grow? That you never got to grow? I don't know. We also bought the lime as a start last year. I don't recall saving the seeds on those or those tiny little orange ones that we had. Remember? No, we didn't buy the lime as a start. It was um, a like dusty purple color. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. If there's still that one plant at the other house. Maybe we should go back and try to get the seeds from it. So this is Macarania zinnia. Orange and yellows which is still not the standard. It seems like everybody has those purple ones. When we were looking to buy them, those dark purple ones that they called pink. Yeah. Mazurkia. Mazurkia. Those are pretty with the light colored rings around the outside. Queen Lime Brush, Blush. I'm a fan of the green flowers for some reason. It just seems so different to me. The queen lime. Yeah, any of any flowers that are green. That's why we got all of them. <laughs> right? And zinnias especially. Yeah, when we had those green ones last year, they were really pretty. Queen lime red. Which is a, those are pretty too. They look pink and green. Queenie Lemon Peach. Now, didn't you say something about the Queen brand being a little more difficult? Yeah, I've heard some people like have trouble growing them. And I know you did with the Queen Lime. Mm -hmm. You kind of had trouble with it coming up. Mm-hmm. Do they just come up a little later or they just don't come up? Yeah, they're just not as like 
prolific as other hmm. zinnias. The blooms fade in lovely colors as they age. 2022 All-American Selection. Hmm. Well, that's exciting. Queen Lime Orange. Yeah, we did go with the lime, didn't we? It's literally called this <laughs> Oh, right? Sorry about that. We're sitting outside. Um, this is called the Polar Bear. Nice white one. What was the name of the white one we had from mm, last year? Do you remember? Idea. This is, I'm super excited about this if it comes up. Isn't that this the is one this, you already tried to grow? Okay. Yeah, from last year. I did get a couple plants that had the green. Not last year. I thought I did. No. Or did I buy the plants already planted? No, we didn't have any green ones last year. It must have been a couple years before that. And then this one, Pink Senorita. I love those petals. They're kind of said she didn't brush her hair. She didn't brush her hair, that's right. Superb for cut flowers, one of our favorites. Heirloom, must for butterfly gardens. Yeah. It's gonna work out well. Okay, what do you got? Tell me about the scabiosa. I, <laughs> I don't remember ordering this many scabiosa. <laughs> Five different ones, but some of them are repeats. Yeah, they um, love they, they love this. She claims she only ordered one of I these. I think I did order one. I got well I heard everybody talking about how great scabiosa is and how they wish they planted more and whatever, so I was like, might as well get three different packages. I got the mix, which is really pretty. And then I saw the dark one, which I've been seeing this bouquet on Instagram that I want to recreate. <laughs> and then we got the salmon pink one, and I got two of the pink, two of the dark ones. But you may not have ordered two. I don't think I ordered two. They just, at Baker Creek, if you order so many, like every fifth one is free or something. So we did get like a package of carrots and a package of radishes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually have no idea what this is. It's called Gilia. I just saw it and it looked pretty. So, globe-shaped, tightly packed cluster, sky blue, violet flowers, and an attract pollinators. Mm -hmm. Thought it looked kind of like allium. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, I got this phlox. Nice. Which is super pretty. They are. Has like little. What's what it called? Call it? Twinkles dwarf mix. Oh yeah, I haven't been saying the name. <laughs> so it's a so it's a bunch of different colors, but it's right. a dwarf mix. So how tall they get? May not be good for cutting if they're tiny. Nine inches? Nine inches. Hmm. Okay, well, I didn't do my research, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tall Deluxe Sun or Snapdragon. There you go. It's a mix. That I think we'll be able to cut. <laughs> stock. I, I think it's heard stocks. people. Is it not? Well, it says stocks, but people call it stock. I don't know. Oh. Um. I just heard people say stock for bouquets, so I got the mix. Um, Dara, you want to talk about? I thought you liked Dara. That's I why I bought it. I'm a fan. Purple flower. Yeah, I like flowers that look. I like wild carrot, Queen Anne's lace, which is the same thing, and like yarrow flowers that look like that, like tiny little bunches mm. that are kind of like. Like an umbrella. And I got this cool amaranth that's like little balls on a stem. Is that like a grain? People eat it like a grain? Um, I don't know. I think they do. But it's like a weeping type. That's the only amaranth I got. There's some holes in our... <laughs> um, I got this dark salvia. And then I got this salmon salvia got a mix of bachelor's buttons so pretty yeah they look like lace or like I don't even know yeah like clouds I got status I'm not really a huge fan of status but well we were trying to do more what is it? A third? 
filler and a third what are they called? Greenery. And, and then focals. Focals, yeah. So you had to get something. I got this fever few, which I literally don't remember buying. I tried to just get normal fever few. And I got this, so now I'm gonna try to buy normal fever few. There. I got two different packs of yarrow. Uh flower burst fruit bowl and Colorado mix. Cause those were the two that Baker Creek had. Mm. Um, I got this baby's breath, Covent Garden. Doesn't look like normal baby's breath. It looks better. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got two different things of Celosia. I'm not familiar with that at all. Uh, just kind of like to add spikes in the bouquet. Rainbow Sherbert, Flaming, Flaming Pink, it's not pink at all, but... Let me see. Purple, it's mm. like light purple and white. Mm. Baby in person, it's more pink. Mm. Um, I got Buckwheat, it's Rose Red Soba. It's opening on the bottom, that's why it got stuck. Oh, uh, I thought the flowers were really pretty, but also, I heard some people grow Buckwheat, like, in between their, uh... Dahlias for weeds, I think. I don't remember. Hmm. hmm. I got straw flowers. I made her get straw flowers. Yeah, I'm not really a huge fan of them either. I think they feel weird. I think they're a thing right now. Yeah. Um. Agaratum. 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 <laughs> I don't know, I saw this in uh, someone's video, I don't remember who, and it looks like little fluffy things. It says clouds of soft periwinkle. Oh, yeah, there you go, clouds. And then I bought three different things of Gonfrina. Pepper Hero swears by it. It's their favorite. <laughs> uh, Mandarin orange. Strawberry Fields, and Atomic Purple. Honestly, I was stressed the whole time I was making this order. I was throwing random things in the cart. <laughs> um, and then we heard that you're supposed to like do one third each or whatever. But Baker Creek doesn't really have any greenery, so this was my attempt. The catnip. I'll say eucalyptus doesn't grow here. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> we got bee balm, which I've heard lots of good things about. And then two things of basil, which I only ordered one of. There That's it. There you go. That's the hole. There's literal sweat dripping down my leg. You're right. <laughs> it's literally <laughs> dripping it's down. It's warm out. We're under a heat advisory. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> it's literally dripped all the way down my leg. Okay, ma'am. No pressure. But here you go. There you go. Talk about your dahlias. Oh, there's something more than dahlias in there, huh? That's the one you yeah, ordered? Uh, no, this is the one you ordered. No, I ordered this one. Wait, let me talk about this. So this is just a wildflower, Midwest wildflower mixture. Um, I got this from Eden Brothers. I think it was like 40 bucks or something. And it's supposed to cover like half an acre this bag so anyways this is gonna be um, along the street side of the flower farm to um, signal to people that there is a flower farm here so you know we live on a we most of the people here have five or ten acres all of our neighbors and they don't have flowers at the roadside you know so hopefully this will be some sort of way to have people think what's going on there like what's up with all the flowers so that was the idea with that you have to go over this one because you bought it oh I don't know what it was it was just said such and such deal so Holland bulbs um I was looking at it their website and they said um that there was still time to plant dahlias that they would still come up they would still flower 
and finish their life cycle before the frost or before the freeze when you're supposed to pull the tubers or they'll rot in the ground. So to surprise Jill, I just ordered a, a set. It was like, oh, you're gonna get their dollars. You pay this much and then um they said I mean they told me what kind they were, but like I wasn't looking at that. I just thought, oh okay. So this is Nordwick's Nor Nordwick's, yeah, something like that. Glory. Uh, it was a dinner plate dahlia. Yeah, there's only one <clears throat> one tuber in here. And it did sprout. Looking kind of sad. We need to get these in the ground. We did we had our dirt delivered. We went and got our construction paper today. We just need to figure out where we're gonna put these. That's not fun. There. There's no pictures on any of these, huh? Well we'll put pictures. There's 25 bulbs in here. 25 words. Or corm. Corm. Corms. What are they called? I don't know. It says. Yeah, it doesn't say what they're called. Mixed buttercup. It blooms in the early summer. Mixed buttercup ranunculus. 25 of them in there. That'll be cool. Okay. This one's big. Three tubers, dinner plate, super mixed dahlia. Height, 30 to 36 inches. Look at those giant, can you see them? Giant tubers. These are sad, we need to put these in the ground. Yeah. Oh, that one has a nice little healthy yeah. root. Okay, we'll at least have one dahlia. Right, mom's special dahlia. One tuber. Okay. Oof, this is a big bag. Look at those. You can see where they... You can see they're, they're sprouted. I know. We need to get them in the ground. Five ball. tubers. Ball. Oh. Mixture. I bought this again. You did? <laughs> so now we have ten of them. Ten tubers. I don't know. Holland Bulbs has a marketing game that is second to none. We get emails multiple times a day tempting us. I get texts too. You get texts too. <laughs> Five tubers, gallery mixed dahlia. Look at, they're all drawing. sprouting. They're ready to go. We need to put them in the dirt. Figure out what we're doing. That one had a spider with it. Okay, ready? Dahlia natal, which is like a really dark purple. Three tubers of that. This is Colorful Investment Dahlia, I don't remember, but all of these ones are sprouting, like I can see that they're alive. Yeah. You see? <laughs> this one is Widom Decorative Dahlia, three tubers of that. Hmm. This is, oh this is Gladiolus, it's like a dark purple one, it's called Anuk, large. Hmm. This is Foxy Lady decorative dahlias. I love how I'm just holding a bag of dirt. <laughs> this is Midnight Party Dahlia. Five tubers. This is Lakeland Autumn. Don't remember what this looks like. Mm. I was really excited when I was buying these, but now it's <laughs> one. Marble Ball. This one's like a purple and white, like marble. And then I bought Mixed Buttercup Ranunculus. That's the same as one. I got. Oh, I lost it. You dropped one. And then anemone decaying wind flower. How many? Twenty-five. Twenty-five anemones. That's a lot. Right. That's it. I don't even know if this will grow. I don't think it's like big enough. You never know. The will to live is a strong one. That's exciting. That's a lot of work, Jill. Yeah. How are you going to get all that in the ground in the next couple days? I'm not.
<laughs> it's just money we Yeah. It was just for the haul. Just so we could say we bought it. <laughs> so we did the seed haul. Today we went and got the paper. We have the dirt, some dirt. I don't even know if that's enough dirt. I don't even, like we got three cubic yards delivered. It doesn't look like much dirt. Probably not, especially since we didn't calculate for any of the dahlias. Did we? I don't know. I, we, we need to order more dirt for sure. And so we got the construction paper because we're gonna do the rows are going to be 20 feet long and two feet wide so we got three foot construction paper as a wheat block uh we have hard pan so we don't have much much soil here so we're gonna have to build up a little bit and then uh you know the, the plants will be able to go through the hard pan after they've they've grown up but um for starters and also I just didn't want to plow everything it seemed like not great um, maybe plow some of the areas that are not being used and put a cover crop just to start improving the the dirt where we're not planting yet so we got that what else do we get for the flower farm today we need to run the uh, hose so the, the tubing, whatever, for the water, it's all way out. The flower farm's on the other side of the property. We have seven acres here. I think that's all we bought for the flower farm today was the uh, paper. We're supposed to get stakes <laughs> and twine, but we were just too tired. <laughs> it's been so hot. It's like you're outside for 15 minutes and just want to take a nap. So, um, other than that, we did some work on your stuff for your, uh, your tiny home that you're putting out and you're going to have a YouTube channel mm -hmm. on that. So that's exciting. We worked on the kitchen a little bit. We did actually get a lot done today. We didn't work on the kitchen at all. We did it? No. I put some stuff away in the kitchen. Oh. So cleaned up and stuff like that. I count that. Eric put stuff together. Mm -hmm. He put the microwave and the toaster oven and stuff where it belongs. So that counts. I told everyone I would have the kitchen done today. So I basically have the kitchen done. There you go. Speak it. Everybody thinks I do. There you go. Speak it into being for sure. So is there anything else we need to talk about with the seed haul or what we did for the flower farm today? Any progress we made? Oh, the guy came out and brush hogged. That was yeah. today, right? So he brush hogged stuff on the bottom pasture and then at least the space for our, not the field behind us right here, but further back, he did a bunch of brush hogging um, just so we would have an easier time laying out the construction paper but we didn't get with Menards we didn't get the stakes we didn't get the twine we just got worn out and decided we were done <laughs> and came home <laughs> so tomorrow that needs to happen maybe earlier in the morning so it's not blazing hot so I think that's it you ready to be done yeah right on see you next time <laughs>